Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast. This forecast is for the week of September 23rd through the 29th. Your Monday card has already fallen, but as I continue to shuffle, let me just remind you I do offer private readings either by phone or by Skype. And all my contact information can be found in my website, which is below. Just get a hold of me and we'll get you scheduled quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's take a peek at the rest of your cards since nothing else has fallen out. Let's just pull the rest of these. Okay, so Monday for Cancers. What you guys have showing up is the Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is just telling me that you have a decision to make on Monday and that whatever choice you decide to go for is going to be a good one. Two of Wands says that you have options. All your options are good. The only reason you really have to make a choice is because you don't have enough either energy or time, some kind of resource. You don't have enough to make all these options go forward in a productive way. So you have to narrow the focus down onto what you can actually choose and make go forward. Okay, so let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday, what we have is the Ten of Swords showing up. The Ten of Swords is a card that does talk about relief. It talks about the end of a situation that has caused tension, uh, possibly debate. There could be gossip involved. Um, there could just be uh, snarky words back and forth. But whenever the Ten of Swords shows up, whatever the situation was, has been put to rest on that day. So that's Tuesday. And by the way, this is a general reading. So um, I have had people tell me that a lot of the things happened to them a day before or after or a couple days before or after. So just because it comes up on a particular day, it may not apply just that way because we have a lot of people watching and a lot of different timelines to work with. But a lot of these cards will manifest for each one of you. All right, let's look at Wednesday. Wednesday, Cancers, you have the Two of Swords. This is another decision very similar to Monday, except for with this decision, um, it's not necessarily that there's a, you know, no matter what choice you make is a good choice. If you kind of look at the background of the card here, you can see that um, if they fall, if there's one path that's followed, it looks kind of dark and misty back towards that direction. But if there's another path that's followed, there's a little bit more light that way. So there definitely is a right. Now this person does have a blindfold on, which means they're not quite sure what the best choice is. They can't see which path leads to dark and which path leads to light. So I do feel like this is definitely a choice that you have to make and you kind of have to make it based on intuition. I don't think you have all the information that you really need to be able to feel like you're making an educated decision here. So this is something that where your gut instinct plays a, an integral role in this decision. Okay. And then let's look at Thursday Cancer. You guys have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, what I'm feeling like for you guys, talks about happy family life going on on Thursday. Maybe Thursday you have game night, or maybe you all just hang out at dinner and there's just some better conversation than usual, or maybe you hear from somebody in your family who's away from home, but there's something going on where you have a satisfying, fulfilling family life situation happening on Thursday. Now, Friday, which we have showing up here, is the Prince of Wands in reverse. Prince of Wands in reverse is somebody that is coming into your life on Friday that is kind of a, well, the word I'm hearing is that they're a shyster. So Prince of Wands in reverse is somebody who likes to come and then they like to go. They like to stick around as long as things are fun. And then when things aren't fun anymore, they're just gone. Um, this is not one of your loyal, true blue type friends. This is this is basically a fair weather friend. And even when they're around during fair weather, you know, they're trying to see what they can pull from you, you know, whether it's financial or whether it's energy or praise or whatever. They're always trying to see what they can get from you whenever they're around. And then when they feel like they've gotten everything they can, then they're off again. So this is a person that we have showing up on Friday for you, Cancers. Just beware. You know, how many of your, how much of your resources do you actually want to give to somebody who's just going to up and disappear in a few minutes anyway, basically. All right. So, and not necessarily literally a few minutes, but figuratively speaking. Now let's look at Saturday. 
Here you guys have the Five of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about getting over some kind of disappointment, some kind of trauma, some kind of injury. This talks about letting something go, forgiving something, you know, not holding on to that grudge or that hurt, but just letting it all go and be a part of the past. A lot of times when we do this, there's, you know, we're actually letting somebody know that we're forgiving them. Maybe they're even asking for forgiveness, but that doesn't have to be the case. We can be doing this just all on our own accord just because we know that we're lifting a burden off of ourselves by letting go of this load. So either way, whichever way that's happening, you are finding some healing from some kind of hurt or disappointment and moving on in a positive direction. Now, last card that we have coming in for you, Cancers, is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse does talk about letting go of some kind of responsibility. This could be you calling into work that day. This could be that maybe you normally take your kid for violin practice that day, and for whatever reason you don't have to. Maybe the instructor is out of town or whatever. Uh, but there's some kind of responsibility that you would normally be handling or that you had planned to handle on Sunday that is it's just not necessary. Or, um, I have had this come up when somebody forgot, but I feel like this is more of a case of, um, yeah, well, I think this is kind of a case of more of a planned not handling this responsibility. Like I said, for some of you, it's just going to be straight up calling into work. Uh, but for others of you, this is going to be walking away from some kind of responsibility. Um, I think it's going to be all on your own. I don't think you're going to forget anything, at least not on this card. Okay, not on this card, not this time. All right, so that is your week's Cancers. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing some of you during the week for readings and the rest of you. I'll see you the next time around on the next video. Peace out.